my name is Kalia Copper, and today I'm going to talk to you about why it's important to wear your seatbelt. So, every hour someone dies in a car crash simply from not buckling their seatbelt, according to the National Highway Traffic <coughs> Safety Administration website. You should listen to me because from 1982 to 1996, an estimated of 3,300 lives were saved by just wearing your seatbelt. So from the research that I've completed today for this speech, I've learned that seatbelts do save lives as well as um, keep you from having serious injuries. When you're driving or even riding in a vehicle for a couple blocks or however, I learned that a seatbelt will decrease your chance of, of death or serious injury if you get into a car accident. <clears throat> First, I'm going to present to you um, with a problem that has dramatic results but could be dealt with quite easily. Second, I will provide a possible solution um, to help you reduce this problem. And third, I will give you a visualization of the problem seen through the positive and negative aspects. And finally, I will tell you how you can, as an individual, deal with this problem. Let's first begin by talking about some of the problems of not wearing your seatbelt. Not wearing your seatbelt can result in death or a serious, in, serious, serious injury. Too many unnecessary losses of lives occur each year simply from not wearing your seatbelt. People just don't wear seatbelts, sometimes for no reason at all, sometimes for other reasons. According to an article in the Lincoln Journal Star in 2002, highway deaths are the highest in 21 years, <clears throat> with a total of 195. In 2001, three or four people who died as a result of a highway accident were not wearing their seatbelt. Now that I've talked about the problems of not wearing your seatbelt, and I would like to continue with the solution of these problems. There's only one main solution to this problem. Wear your seatbelt. <clears throat> this solution could be reached through several different ways. I, I believe that the, the first step was passed by Congress which in 1966 they passed the Motor um, National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. The second step was to get a state or federal government to make sure seatbelts were, uh, well, there were seatbelt passing laws. Now I would like to continue with some of the benefits from that, some of the benefits you may experience from wearing your seatbelt. There are many benefits to wearing a seatbelt. Wearing a seatbelt keeps you inside of the vehicle. <clears throat> you are 25 more times likely to be <clears throat> killed or injured if you're thrown from the car, according to the Connecticut Department of um, Transportation website. If you are thrown free from a vehicle, there's um, a high, high chance that you will die because you could go flying into a pole, traffic, a tree, or just the open road. Wearing a seatbelt will save you from this injury or death. Seatbelts redu reduce the risk of a fatal injury in the front seat passengers' occupants by 45%. Seatbelts have saved 4,305 teenagers' lives involved in um, traffic accidents between 1995 and 2002, according to an article in the Lincoln Journal Star. <clears throat> Wearing a seatbelt will reduce the injury reduce the chances of a bodily injury. Seatbelts are very important to drivers and passengers of a vehicle, whether you're driving or you're a passenger. There was an instance where everyone in the car was wearing a seatbelt and one person wasn't. So the one person who went, they had end up from the, all the momentum of the car end up bumping heads with someone who was wearing a seatbelt, where that could have been easily solved by that one person wearing their seatbelt. Seatbelts are estimated to save 9,500 lives in America each year, according to the ESPN organization's website. Today I've talked about some of the problems of not wearing a seatbelt. Causes, <clears throat> a solution to the problem to reduce deaths and injuries, some of the benefits of wearing a seatbelt, and why seatbelts are important. Next time you get into a vehicle, remember that the odds of you that you'll be in a bad crash at least once in your life, but seatbelts more than double the chance of you surviving a bad car crash and it only takes about three to five seconds buckle up <laughs>